Well, welcome back to Better Living. We are still here at the ballpark, as you can see, but we have switched our focus a little bit. I'm here with Coach Lalone, and we are going to talk about the hockey game tonight because yes. baseball is not the only thing in town, is it? Not tonight. <laughs> We're, we, one of our goals early on was making the playoffs, and I know it's a lot of work for the staff here, but uh, I'm excited to have the the famous triple header that's going on today. I think that they're okay with the work. Yes. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say <laughs> it's fine with them. They're, they are glad to do it. So for somebody who has not gotten to see the walleye play this season, perhaps they've just moved here. Tell us what the season's been like. It's been a special season. Um, obviously, there was a turnover from last year, and we kind of started right from scratch. And you know, again, our goal at the beginning of the year was to make the playoffs. And then we just had this outstanding, amazing season. Um, we pretty much broke every record possible. We won the league championship. Um, it's a credit to the type of player we brought here and the guys. And all along, we've talked about we're very fortunate to be significant to our fan base here, and we're going to treat as such and to be able to reward them with this type of season has been very special. But I ask the guys to put that behind when the playoffs yeah. start tonight. It's a new season. It's a new season, and it's one you'd like to win for yes, sure. Yeah, Let's absolutely. talk about that fan support because. It it is amazing here. How many people come out night after night to see you all? It's truly special. Well, very intriguing thing. They they uh, they'd made changes in the head coaching position. They'd contacted me if I'd be interested in going through the process. And I was intrigued and, and in doing all my homework and, and just watching uh, what the organization's about. I was truly amazed with the business side of things. Yeah. They had everything in order and the fan. I mean, last year they were dead last place. They were playing for nothing. Five, six, seven thousand people right. still showing up. It really opened my eyes to it, got me excited about it. And then to experience it firsthand this year, it's been uh, simply amazing. We truly have. It, it sounds like a cliche. Coaches say it everywhere. We truly have the best fans anywhere. And I would agree with that. There, are, It's amazing that people come out as much as they do. Um, yeah, it's just shocking to me because I didn't grow up in a hockey community. Yes. So I didn't realize just what a big deal hockey was. They well, only played basketball where I lived. There's, there's, there's been a long history here, and fans appreciate uh, doing it right and playing it right, and I think we've done that this year. And not only have they shown up in droves, they've shown up with an excitement, a yeah. uh, buzz in that arena. Uh, I will f I, I'm very grateful and thankful for it. For people who've never played sports at all, and certainly 95% of us have never played professional sports, that that cheering in the audience, that enthusiasm and passion, that really does help you out, doesn't it? Oh, our it? guys are appreciative. I mean, we, we basically broke every home winning record yeah. this year. And once, first and foremost, we talked about early in the season, one of our identities is to win at home. Uh, and again, being significant in this community, and our guys have really bought into it. And it makes a huge difference, especially hockey. It's so hard sometimes to to score. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, sure. you get 2-1, 3-2, two, 3-3. Three, two, three, three, and when you get in a game, you do something to change momentum. When that crowd is backing you up, and, our, and we have some of the best fans. They're loud. They're enthusiastic. Yeah. It certainly has driven us this year. Well, let's let's talk about the playoffs and what starts tonight. Let's talk about who you're facing and maybe what the game plan is a little bit. Well, we're facing the Wheeling Nailers, and a team we've had some success with this year, but they're a very tough matchup in that they're very physical and hard. Uh, the couple games we've had this year, I wouldn't say got out of hand, but it was probably back to where this league was 15, 20 years ago. A lot of fights, mm -hmm. you know, guys just sticking up for a teammate. So they're going to want to be intimidating. They're going to be physical. And, and we had an attitude all year that we're going to play disciplines. We're not going to take unselfish, foolish penalties, but we're not going to back down from anyone. And so the times we play winning have been very heated, and I expect this to be the same uh, type of series. Now that makes for a fun game to watch. Yes, yes. Fun for you, not for many of the wives <laughs> and mothers of it's some true. of the players. I get that. I, I totally understand that. Yeah, my kids are all players in, in yes. smaller divisions. But, yeah, I, I get a little apprehensive and anxious when I think that it's going to get tense at yes, all. Escalated. Yes, escalated. Yes, very sure. much so. So if people want to come tonight's game, and then what happens? We play 8-15 tonight and then we roll into another home game Saturday night I believe 750 730 and then we go to games three four and five in Wheeling which okay. will be Wednesday Friday Saturday in Wheeling and then we're back home the following Tuesday Wednesday for potentially games six and seven because it is a seven game series Best even seven. this beginning yes. of the playoffs. first one to win four moves on okay so when you win yes this when we win. yes when you win this series what 
where does it go next? Well, Any idea what the matchup may be? Yeah, the other matchup in our conference, the other uh, semifinal, if you will, in the North Division is Fort Wayne and Kalamazoo. Okay. And both very, really good teams and two huge rivals of ours. So no matter what we do, if we're fortunate enough to get through Wheeling, it's going to be a very hard series. Uh, we're going to get a division rival that has a strong fan base themselves. Uh, this is what we play for. I told the guys, if you come to Toledo, we're going to play significant games in the spring. And these, this is what it's all about. We're looking forward to it. Absolutely. Well, and the good news is that whether you face Fort Wayne or Kalamazoo, those are both close enough that the yes. fan base can follow. Well, and it will be back and forth. And even in the regular season when we've traveled to Fort Wayne, when we've traveled to Kalamazoo, I've been taken back with how many Kalamazoo fans have traveled. Very proud and appreciative of yeah. it. And to just look up or when we score, to hear the loud roar of our crowd. We, again, great fans, and they will be able to travel. And, Excellent. You know. What well, still tickets available tonight? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, plenty of tickets available. It's it, playoffs are always unique. Uh, we have a lot of season ticket holders, and everyone's used to that regular season. Right. And it's, it starts anew. So it's almost like you got to remarket it, get the word out there. And I thought it was a great idea to to back up our first home game with the opening game of the Hens game. And I think it's they awesome. expect some people to to stroll. Or maybe wobble. <laughs> Perhaps, <laughs> over yes. To, to whoever, whoever's liking yeah. uh, over to the game tonight. Uh, and again, just looking forward to it. This organization does so many things right. When I say the organization, the Mud Hens and the Walleye right. got a taste of it a little bit from the Winterfest. And I think they love the challenge of being grandiose and doing things on a, on a large scale. And this was a, a, another example of it with the triple header. Absolutely. Well, a triple header is large scale for sure, and you want to get out to it today. Good luck tonight. We'll be right back on Better Living.